Welcome to the Waymark Editor. Today we're going to be looking at some of the basic features to help you customize one of your videos. It all starts from one of our template pages, where you have a clear option to personalize. Once you've hit personalize, you're in the Waymark Video Editor, where you see options on the right hand side to choose things like color, music, images, and text. Let's try changing some colors. First, choose the color that you'd like to change, and then simply pick a color from the list or type in a custom hex code. When you're done, you can press done. I'm going to change a second color here too. Maybe a darkish purple. Perfect. Now I'm going to preview my video to see the colors. That looks good, but now I want to change some of the feel. So, I'm going to change the track. I like Cowboys in Space, but you can choose any track here and then press play to preview it in your video. Perfect. Now let's change some images. Here you can click and drag to cycle through the images left to right. You also have options to replace any image or crop it. I'm going to start by replacing an image. I'm going to upload a new photo. Here I have a bunch of real estate images that I'm going to put into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and select some and hit open. I'm just going to go by and you can click on images to navigate through the video. Let's put in a couple more. Great. And one last one. So, I've got a lot of images here and I'm realizing that maybe I was a little overzealous with my colors. So I'm going to go back up and change them to something a little bit more neutral. Maybe a nice light gray background. And for the text, we'll stick with something classic like black. And let's try and hear something else. How about always you? Hey, hey. Perfect. Now I'm going to scroll down and insert my logo. You can see when you remove a logo with a red X, it falls back to business name. So I could type in a real estate company here, or I can add a logo and I have my Your Realty logo. There you go. Look at that. A martini glass and two houses. Perfect. When a video stops playing or it reaches the end in Waymark, you can watch it again, or you can do so anytime in the player. Changing text is just about as easy as you would imagine. First, second, third, last over here on the right is the same first, second, third, last that appears in the video. So I'm going to say, rent this house today. You'll also notice when you click on text here, it navigates to the point where the text appears in the video. So I'm going to go to the words right before rent this house today just to see how it comes in. Great. Now from here, I can insert my website, a call to action, maybe visit us today. And starting at, what's a good price for an apartment? How about 1500 That would be a deal if this was Brooklyn. 
Now I can save my videos to draft in my account, or I have the option to buy. Before we go, let's talk about cropping images. First I'll click on an image to navigate to where it is in the video. Once I find the image that I want to crop, maybe this one, there's a lot of white wall here and I think the most interesting part is this stove and shelf. I'm going to go and select the crop icon and I'm going to move my crop over a bit to just contain the most interesting parts of an image. Now I'll press done cropping and when I click on that image you see that extra white wall is gone and I'm pulled into what I think is a little bit more interesting. I'm going to watch this one last time. Customizing a video in Waymark takes only minutes. If you need a little bit of a jumpstart getting started, check out our next video about auto-personalizing your video.